Good morning, Brian with Grand Riffing, bringing you a quick tip DIY repair it yourself video for you real fast within hopefully a couple minutes wrapped up, done and out of here. Got called out a couple weeks ago to look at these two pipes, something about foam coming out. It was frosty, wet, couldn't get up there. I see now there's quite a bit of tar around the shingles here. That one's pretty clean, but I wasn't sure what they were talking about the foam. I had a chance to get up there just the other day, dry enough to get up. Realize that it's aluminum pipe boots. Everything looks to be good. Shingles look to be good. Everything's fine, minus the smeared tar around the shingles, which won't hurt them. There's a simple repair where you don't have to remove all the shingles. Provided everything with the roof, the shingles are good, and it's just simply the gasket seal around it. There's what I call a secondary pipe boot repair. I've done a video in the past. We're going to do another one for you. It is these right here. They make them in small size or big size. This is for a three inch or a four inch pipe. There is a smaller one from a one and a half to a three. If it is a three inch, you put it on as is. If it is a four inch, you cut and peel this out here. I had a comment, I don't remember who, I apologize, how to do this. We're gonna show you real quick. I'll put the GoPro on and we will do it from start to finish, uncut, unedited, to slip one on that, that there. You might want to, if it's jagged, tar around it, chip it away, smooth it out, whatever. We're gonna jump up with a ladder and let me put the GoPro on up top here. We will get into this if you like it. Give it a thumbs up on the way in if you could. Uh, consider subscribing at the end if you like it, if you get any benefit from it. Let's do it. All right, if you guys are in the market for buying a ladder, I really recommend one of these. My uh, ladder kickout standoffs were delayed one day from the mail, so I'm a little bummed about that. Didn't get a chance to get them to shoot it. But if you're careful, this is smooth and it doesn't hurt. Got a knife in my pocket if needed. Got some sealer if needed. I'm not a fan of doing it unless you think you need it. Uh, it's a little steep, so you save the equipment if you need. I'm not telling you to do this and get hurt. So we're gonna cut these before we get out there, so I'm not fighting it. Use a, a sharp straight blade, get it cut. Does it go for it down? Yeah, go for it in view. Just puncture it right in between those two buildups. And once you start, you just pull and work your way around, super simple. You don't wanna cut or nick the actual buildup ring here, because that's what's gonna reinforce it so it doesn't tear or split. That one's ready to go. The other one's a four inch. We're gonna prep it now too. If you're like me and put your pocket in your, your knife in your pocket, don't forget to retract it, or you might be like, ooh. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna use this until I get up there. If I see I may need, we're gonna get it ready. It just dried up enough. It's been a frosty day. We're gonna get a few things done today for you. Okay, so just looking at your pipe boot, again, the shingles look to be okay. Nothing wrong with them. The pipe boot itself is aluminum with this neoprene seal. That's what goes bad over time. I wish this wouldn't have been done, but what they were saying is because of this crack and there's the foam they tried to seal it with. These are essentially the same as from the manufacturer. This is a repair one. There's no crimped ring inside here that is pressed into the aluminum. All you gotta do is shove this down to cover all this bad old. If you wanna caulk it and seal it, you can. Not necessary unless you think you need to. The reason I don't want to is because if you go to replace this roof down the road, it's going to be a mess getting that off there. If you got jagged edges, yank those off. Pardon me, let me cancel this. I'll call it back. All right, also note, cast iron is typically straight down, down to the sewer area. If it is PVC, be careful and cautious pushing down, grip it, hold it, because it probably could go to a splitter and branch off into different areas. You could crack it really easy. So let's go pro back on, let's do it. nothing super sharp and jagged if it is just kind of chip it away get it stretched over shove it down don't be afraid you can always pull it right back off if you need to you don't really want to trap water but if you're concerned because of the size of the pipe and the pitch of the roof not having enough slope to keep water from wicking up under don't be afraid plus coming down that far it's actually got a little bit of this showing so we're going to Caulk a little on his higher backside real quick. At least where it's pretty bad. Sorry if you're not able to see, I apologize. Let's see what it looks like now. Keeping it with a downward slope so nothing comes up under. Again, that's just mainly because the pitch of the roof coming up so high to the backside of that pipe boot. If there's some rough edges and you got a gap, 
don't, it won't hurt to seal that. Not quite necessary if it's making a good seal. This will hold up for quite a few years. Probably last long enough for the roof to be, until the roof's ready to be replaced. That's gonna be super simple and easy for you guys to do, as opposed to completely flat barring out around the shingles and replacing it. Same thing happened on this one. If you want to replace it, depending upon the region where you live, you can put a lead pipe boot on. Some things you gotta be cautious of. They only make those lead boots so high. If the pipe is too high, you might need to cut it. If it's cast iron, careful, it could crack and shatter. Uh, the region you live in here in my area, not a fan of them because the squirrels chew through them and destroy them. They're also a bit more pricey. This one here, we are gonna add just a little bit around this backside again. Again, use your own determination if you need to caulk the backsides or the whole thing. It's completely up to you. The point being is the pipe boot itself is good. And I don't see any bad installation error when it comes to the shingle. Probably have a little bit more opened up to give a channel for water runoff. That'd be about it. This is how my phone is all day, every day. See a little frost still sticking around. Don't be lazy, don't forget to get your trash. Let me uh, do one thing here. I told this homeowner I would send them a picture of the pipe boot on it, cover. I can send it over to him, let him know. Did I make my couple minutes? Let's see, check GoPro time. We are at seven minutes. I busted just a few minutes, I apologize on that. But if you're still here, you're still watching, greatly appreciate it. Check link in the description down below for a link to the ladder. Lifesaver. Also, those repair collars. I believe you can get them on Amazon. I'll leave it linked up down below. Thumbs up on there. And the magic word, so I know you watch this far, is rim. I was going to say Chrysler, but I'm not a fan of Chrysler. So, rim down below. Till next time, be safe. We'll see you then.